Shalom to everybody out there in this world of social media. This is Brother Dana. Um, just sharing some of my thoughts again with you tonight. This video may not be very long, but I think um, it is going to truly reveal to the remnant, the um, true chosen people, the depth of wickedness or evil that my own white people know about or recognize in their own white people. Okay, so they, they want to continually, you know, fear that this nation was going to crumble for several reasons, but, you know, clearly it, it was the immigrants build the wall. It is people of color, our black brothers and sisters, rising up. Um, and, and thinking they're above who we brought you here to be, a slave, in that mindset. And you will get freedom, like in a sport or in entertainment, when that little bit of freedom that we give you to perform before us is still for our glory, our money-making, still for us. And that is why when you begin to rebel, we need to remind you, athletes, who owns you and what you better do? So I'm saying all that to say that look how hard our white evangelicals and Republicans are fighting against not just Biden, not just the Democrats, but against, let's say, just the notion that they are being asked or required to wear a face mask. Now, you have heard them say after every fatal black individual shooting, you have heard them say over and over, if they would have complied, if they would have complied, comply, 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 comply. And so, see, what they don't realize is that God is now going to bring that same heart of judgment, as I said in a video, back upon them. So now they're saying comply to you, but now when their own government that is run by their own white people, let's, let's put away Democrats and Republicans, it's white people. They created this nation. They built this nation and, and they brought God's blessing into this nation. That's what they say. Correct, white evangelicals? This is your nation. And by boom, is anybody going to take it? Thus the wall, <laughs> thus the shooting, thus the frantic need to put a uh, uh, lead defender of white supremacy and the false religion of Christianity back in power. But see, this is their depth of wickedness. I always believe that somebody who is innocent or somebody who has not been affected by certain things, let's, let's, let's use this. A young child that has never been broken of his innocence by seeing um, uh, behind a naked adult man or woman's body, okay? They cannot fathom what is behind that until they get to an age, you know, where they recognize themselves. But, but innocence is means that, that that individual has an innocent mind and therefore there are certain things that this mind will never be able to understand or conceive until they may see it. So here you have the Republicans who are fighting and fighting and fighting against the Democrats, which is another white controlled party for the evil that they believe they're going to do to them, like now mandating them to wear a mask, which then places them into communism. See, this is the point. Even my own white people recognize in themselves the depth of wickedness that lies there. That's why you have the Democrats that, that know to, to a massive degree what Trump is going to do when he, <laughs> no, because he won't accept losing. They know what this man is going to do. You already see it manifesting. But in the same sense, they believe 
what the Democrats are going to do if they were given full power. Do you see the nation is divided against themselves because they're each fighting against their own, each other's wickedness? Because each party at the depth is wicked. It's white supremacy. One is just camouflage a little bit different. And I believe if you go back into your history, way back in the day, it was the Republican Party that was more acting like the Democrat Party is today. They like flip flopped. So to you, my, my Hebrew brothers and sisters out there that, that sometimes going to step back and marvel, they are aware of the depth of wickedness that lies within each of their parties because they know what each other has done from the beginning of history to anybody and everybody that tries to come up against white supremacy. But see, there's division now because the time of these 400 years, the punishment, the consequence to you, my Hebrew blood brothers and sisters, um, um, uh, 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 consequence on you because of your forefathers and your ancestors' disobedience is now come to an end. In the New Testament, to you who are white evangelicals, your time is up. <laughs> Just like, just like Revelation or uh, Romans says that when there will become a time when the time of the Gentiles will be fulfilled, time's up. You think that's just God, as we've been taught in Christianity, closing the door to salvation for our white Jews. And that while this time comes to an end, the white Jews will have a harder time coming in, or the Gentiles now will have a harder time coming into salvation because now the time has moved from the blessings on the Gentiles to the blessings now on the white Jews. Oh, but see, that's why color and truth matters, my white evangelical family members. Because the truth be told, it is our black brothers and sisters that you call them who are the true chosen people of God and the nation that curses them. Or, you know, now that their time of the Gentiles having favor over them is over, guess who has favor now? And with that favor is just not spiritual blessing because my black brothers and sisters have come to know Christ in loads and groves more than you. So what does it mean? It means that the, even the physical blessing is now or the favor is now. So fight against yourself. Because Jesus said a kingdom divided against itself will fall. That's why I'm not Democrat. That's why I'm not Republican. That's why I'm not an American. Yes, I live in America. But my identity is I am a individual that's clinging, clinging to the true chosen people of the Most High God, Yah. And what you're seeing now is God giving confusion amongst white America, and you will fight yourselves, which will bring down your own nation. And with that comes lots of suffering. It's going to be a lot of agony come your way. But see, the Most High Yah has done everything in his power to get your attention. But you refused. You refused. So now, is the wall helping you? Are those laws helping you? What you need now is you need unity. And, and you know what, evangelicals? Please remember this. You claim to be the people of God. You claim to be the Christians. And so now I'm going to hold you accountable to what you say is the behavior of a Christian. Democrats, you say, are godless people. So don't you dare point fingers on them that they're not living up to your religion when they don't claim your religion. You claim the religion of Christianity. So you show us what it means to be a evangelical Christian, which you are. And that's why I say thank you. You've shown me and all of us that your religion is only for your benefit. And when it comes to you following the Bible that says, well, if you have to make peace, and I'm quoting in my own, if you have to make peace to keep some type of unity or you have to forgive or you have to 
Lay your gift at the altar to go make amends with your brother. I don't see you doing it. Because you don't have the true most high Yah in you. You have your God of white superiority Christianity. And your empire is this world. Oh yeah, then when you die, you float off to heaven and be with Jesus. Again, in the good parts of Jerusalem. For all the great things that you have done in the name of God. Well, may my true God, the Most High Yah, have mercy not only on you in the days of your life here on earth, but also on your soul. Because the truth be told, God will not be mocked. A man will reap what he sows. And payment time is here because he's just. Just like when he sent his son because it was the time for, for him to come and bring justice to us. Now it's time for God to come and bring justice for his children from you. And that's why I say, may the Most High Yah have mercy on you. Shalom.